Hey guys, have you heard that Linux is not for gamers? I did. It's a pretty common myth. In this video I will tell you how to install NVIDIA drivers and Steam in Debian. This one is for gamers only. If you want to install NVIDIA drivers but you are not going to play 3D video games in Steam, you can watch my other video on how to do that. I'll put the link in the description below. Before we start the installation, we need to make sure that your graphic card model is supported by the current driver version. So let's get started. First, we need to open the terminal. If you don't know the exact model name, you can find it out by typing this command and pressing enter. All the commands that I mention in this video you can find in the description below. If your graphic card has NVIDIA chip, you'll see that in the first line. Usually the model name starts with GeForce. On my computer it's GeForce GT730. If you have more than one graphic card, that means you have an Optimus Hybrid Graphics chipset. I will show you how to deal with that later on in this video. Then we need to go to the official NVIDIA website and check if your card is supported by the driver. The current version that is in the Debian repositories is 375.82. Once we open the page, let's look through the list to see if the card is there. Bingo! I found it. That means that we can proceed. By default Debian doesn't have non-free repositories enabled in the system. In order to do that, we need to open the repository list file and add it manually. You'll need administrative rights for that. Use sudo or su command. In that file we can see all the repositories in the system. In order to add non-free repositories, let's add words contrib and non-free at the end of each line after main. You can move the cursor with arrow keys on your keyboard. Once we're done, we need to save the file by pressing Ctrl and O on your keyboard, then Enter and exit by pressing Ctrl and X. Many 3D games have 32-bit architecture, so in order for them to run smoothly on our 64-bit system, we need to add 32-bit architecture support. To do that, we should run. Let's let our system know that we changed the configuration running update command. Then we're going to install some codecs that 3D games might need with this command. You should type letter Y to confirm, then press enter. Now it's time to install the processor microcode. That will install VLC player and SM player too. I recommend using SM player as a default player for video files. It's one of the fastest players for Linux. I'm going to do a tutorial sometime soon on how to configure SM player for the best result. Also, we need to install Linux kernel headers to help the system build the driver files. Press Y and enter to confirm. Ok, now we are ready spaghetti. If you had two graphic cards shown when we were checking the model's name, you need to run this command. I have only one, so I will go with another option. Depending on your system performance and internet speed, the installation can take a long time. At the middle of the installation, you will get a message stating that the NVIDIA driver conflicts with the current open source driver. That is normal, you can fix that by rebooting your machine right after the installation. The installation is finished. I'm going to see you guys right after I reboot. I'm back. If you use XFC desktop environment, you might notice that the fonts got a bit blurry. That's because the NVIDIA drivers installation program reset the default DPI. Let's fix that by going to Settings, Appearance, Fonts. The DPI setting appears to be 96, but it's really not. To correct that, we need to press the small down button several times and then up till the number is going to be 96 again. I also recommend to set the hinting. You can go through every mode and check which one works the best for you. I prefer slide mode. If you want your graphics card to communicate its temperature to sensor apps or conkey, you need to install additional package for that. Now it's time to install Steam. 
Before we do that, we need additional NVIDIA drivers that provide optimized hardware acceleration of OpenGL apps. Let's open the terminal and launch the command. OK, now we are ready for Steam. Let's do that with the command. We need to confirm the license agreement because Steam is actually a proprietary software and its source code is closed. That means that we don't really know for sure what that code does. So if you trust Valve Corporation, which created Steam, you should press Tab and Enter. Congratulations! Now you have your NVIDIA card and Steam ready for gaming. And finally, if you are among those unlucky users who got NVIDIA Graphics Horizontal Line Steering Bug, I strongly recommend to watch my video on how to fix that. The method is really hard to find on the internet. I'll put the link in the description below. If you like this content, please give it a thumbs up. In case you have any questions, please type it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to help. See you later.